Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Trace again here, TNM Diecast Reviews. And uh, today I have a new video for you. Uh, just came in the mail a couple days ago um, from Maryland. I'm in Virginia and it's about two and a half hours there and had to wait about two weeks to get it. I ordered this car the Friday before th uh, um, spring break and I guess the person that had the website on eBay that I got it from was on spring break so took a little extra time but it was worth the wait beautiful car we have a 118 scale uh, Celine S7 so that's this is this is nice this is a pretty car um, I didn't know a whole lot about the Celine F7s um, I guess I was just uh, Looking through eBay for cars to buy and everything and stumbled across it. I did notice that most of them were made by Motormax that you see on the internet anyway. I didn't even know Hot Wheels made one and just happened to stumble across it. Um, this is a nice car. This man was selling it as new even though it's an older model and, uh, and everything. The box looks a little rough but you know it's probably stored in an attic or something tape was on the box and everything and I've already uh, broken the tape loose pulled it out of its box and took the screws loose from it so it's easier to get it out of the box and check it out uh, but it was a real nice car so we're gonna head go take this out real quick it even comes even came with its original 90 day limited warranty fill it all out and everything send it in that's pretty neat all right that's the first one I've come across like that. Let's see if we can get it out. It's a bear sometimes to get it out of here. Alright. Nice, nice looking model. 100% Hot Wheels. I guess it's Hot Wheels Mattel. That's a nice way they mount it. Three screws. You even got the Hot Wheels in the symbol there on my thumb. Hopefully the wind won't affect this video too much. We had some nasty storms early this morning, so we'll try to get in front of it. In front of the camera here to keep knock the wind off. Put the warranty up for a minute. Put it back on here. Throw it up your turntable. Take a look at that. Ain't that beautiful? Beautiful bright metallic orange paint. Yeah, I had to have that one. I had to have that one. Comes in many colors. Most of the ones you see on um, YouTube will be made by Motormax. A few differences between the Motormax and the Hot Wheels. Um, I didn't bring nothing to break the straps loose. I'm just hoping I can get them loose. Uh, the Motormax has a little rubber, black rubber antenna up top here. Also, it seems to open, show more motor uh, engine detail. Um, with the motor max this front compartment opens and the rear trunk opens This Hot Wheels Mattel does not uh, the, the doors will open and the engine cover plastic engine cover opens But I figure if I can find a Hot Wheels 118 that I can afford I'm gonna buy it over motor max. I just think it's just a, it's a better crafted model um, uh, the interior, as far as the, the Hot Wheels concerned, between the two, the Hot Wheels seems like it's a little better detailed. So, you know, you got some give and take there. Um, they're both running about the same price on eBay. But um, this, to this day, is still one of the fastest cars, production cars ever made. Uh, the twin, to twin turbo version of this car is uh, called the competition version. And uh, run 200, almost 250 miles an hour, 248 miles an hour. Uh, you know, it's nice. Let's see if we can get the straps off here. I can't believe I forgot my pocket knife. There's one off. And probably old enough to break, but I really don't want to. I don't want to try to take a damage, damage in the car. So. of it. Oh 
dog goes inside there too. Look at that. It shows you that I ain't never had it up at all. Wow. This is a really nice car. That's the wind here. So we've had a time where we had a bunch of rain come in and I just hadn't been able to do anything on the weekend. Cloudy days and rain and all. I'm telling you, when it rains here, it rains like two or three days at a time. So let's go ahead and try to open this up. This is all you're going to see open is the door. The front part of it doesn't open or the back. I don't know if the door will stay open. Doesn't look like it. I don't know if I can fix that or not. I have to show it without the door open. Oh, there it goes. Engine compartment. Let's see if we get that open. There we go. That's what you got on it opened up on the Hot Wheels. Like I said, the uh, front part here, I guess it's the front trunk and the rear trunk on the Motor Max opens. Uh, just looks better. Motor Max back here. It's just the paint is paint quality is poor. You can see right through it when you shine a light on it. So I don't know. It's your opinion. You know, whatever you want, you want to get what you want, whatever you think is best. I like the the bright metallic orange on the Hot Wheels better. So I'm going to go ahead and show you some detail work here. Here's the front. Headlights look really good, really spot on. This is the, I guess it would be the, I guess it would be the xenon bulbs in there. I do like the fact that everything is so perforated. As you can see here, they're sticking some toothpick in there. Everything's all this perforation. Way up in here. Look at that. That's really nice. These vents up on top here are not perforated. Well, look at this one is. In the hood, that's really nice. Side ones. Get perforation in here. All the way in here. It's hitting plastic in there. But I mean, you know, that's pretty cool. Flat bottom. I don't think we have any suspension. No. The motor max I don't believe does either. Side profile, that, that looks really nice, don't it? You got your, your slotted rotors. Then your calipers there. The, of course, the rotors don't turn with the wheels. That's fine. That's perfectly fine, isn't it? You got your Selena uh, logo there on the center cap. Center lug nut. You guys only have one lug nut per wheel. Probably adapted from the F1. That's really nice. Rear uh, detail work. That's really nice also. Four exhaust. The Celine tag came on the car and then you have Celine written here. And then S7 there. No pegs to be shown in the front or the back. There's some kind of perforation there. What the other side? That paint quality is, is gorgeous. Really nice. Open it up a little bit for you. Like I said, I hope it'll stay open. Stick my thumb in it. Here's the interior. Looks pretty good. My hand's gonna knock off the sun or not. Looks pretty good. You know I me, mean? I think it could use some carpet. But uh looks good. They did good work on the seat belts. Racing seat belts in it. Mm. Yeah, I think of that. Steering wheel turns with the front wheels. Looks good. Got your three pedals down there. Nice training. I like how this, the doors have this little peg here that fits in this little slot. Keeps the doors closed nice. Body lines are nice and clean. Everything matches up real well. 
no huge gaps or anything. I said this is an older production model made by Hot Wheels and it looks pretty good. I guess that'd be the engine intake. Not a whole lot of engine detail. Like I said, if you want more engine detail, you'd go with the Motor Max. But the Motor Max doesn't have its half a. I guess that half or quarter um, roll cage there. I think it's a neat looking car. I don't mind the missing details on it. It's just, it just looks really good. Like I said, if I can get my hands on a Hot Wheels model, I will go definitely pull the trigger on it and I, if I can afford it. On the back of the box, I'll show you the, some of the cars that are in the collection. Pretty nice. Some nice cars. Just a real nice car. So, uh, I'll tell you what I got on it. Bought it off of eBay. Paid $19.99 plus $13.70 for shipping. Of course, it said made by Hot Wheels, 118 scale. Got it off a guy on eBay name is I underscore S A B R O S O. Sabroso. I went on his his uh, site and he looks like he sells a lot of movies and DVDs and stuff. And I, was, I think this was the only uh, 118 car he had, diecast car he had. Uh, but this is the Selene S7, it's 2004. It's powered by a 7.0 liter V8 engine, Ford engine. Makes 550 horsepower and 525 foot pounds of torque. This is the naturally aspirated version. This is not the twin turbo version. Zero to 60 in 3.3 seconds. Top speed on this car is 220 miles per hour because like again, I said, you know, the naturally aspirated car, not the twin turbo car. Six speed manual transmission is how he puts the power to the road. Car only weighs 2,865 pounds. Able to achieve a uh, quarter mile time in 11.35 seconds at 128 miles per hour. And uh, apparently this car was produced from 2000 to 2007. Not a whole lot of units made. I didn't get the number down on how many units made. MSRP in uh, 2004 was $430,000. Beautiful car. Hope you can you feel like adding it to your collection. Some of you guys have been collecting longer than me. Probably already have it in their collection. Uh, but this orange seems to be a little different. I've seen a lot of silvers and a lot of whites and a lot of blacks. And I think there's a burgundy one out there also. That uh, Jason from JMC Porsche he reviewed about five years ago. The burgundy one that was made by Motormax. Uh, but I thought this was a little different gorgeous car hope y'all like it hope you like this video if you do give me a thumbs up and if you like this channel consider subscribing as of today of of uh, april 15th 2019 we've got 73 subscribers so hopefully this summer we'll hit 100 and we'll do another 100 year i'm mean 100 and uh subscriber drawing give away another free car glad to do it so everybody, thanks you, thanks again for your support and your subscriptions, and uh, we will catch you on the next one. This is Trace again here at TNM Diecast Reviews, and y'all have a good one. We got another video coming up shortly. Y'all take care. Bye bye.